These nerves right over here are the optic nerves. The optic nerves are cranial nerve, Roman numeral number two, and you can see them as they cross right over here at what is the optic chiasm. And the fibers within the optic nerves then will continue on their way to the occipital lobes of the cerebrum. And you can see them continuing right over here as the optic tract. Right over here you have two structures which are red in color and they represent the boundary of the hypothalamus. So right over here and right over here you have the mammillary bodies of the hypothalamus. In front of the mammillary bodies, this region right over here is the tuber cinerium. Tuber cinerium is called the tuber because it's a region where uh, the tissue appears enlarged or swollen, and a cinerium because it kind of has an ashen gray color. It is also part of the hypothalamus. And right over here in the middle, right behind the optic chiasm, this represents where you find the infundibulum from which the pituitary gland will be suspended. Right behind the mammillary bodies, we can see the inferior part of the midbrain. And two important structures that are visible here are the cerebral peduncles. The cerebral peduncles contain motor uh, fibers originating from the cerebrum and going down uh, on their way to the spinal cord and to other structures in the brainstem. In between the two cerebral peduncles, you can see two more cranial nerves emerging. Uh, these cranial nerves are the oculomotor nerves. Right behind the midbrain, right over here, you can see a prominent bulge this is the inferior part of the metencephalon, and the pons contains mostly fibers which are crossing over from one side to the other on their way to the cerebellum. Right over here, you can see two cranial nerves emerging from the boundary between the pons and the medulla oblongata right over here, and these two uh, cranial nerves are the abducens nerves. These would be uh, cranial nerve Roman numeral number six.